Great. Do you want to tell us uh, what you do and why you're here today? Um, I'm, I'm here with, uh, in solidarity with Nathaniel Coleman, who's been a phenomenal voice in terms of raising awareness about um, the, the academy and how um, the, the, the whiteness that's um, prevalent within it in terms of from the fact that we've only got 85 black Christians in the whole country up to 18,000 to the fact that our curriculum is so whitewashed um, and that something needs to be done about it. Um, the fact that UCL are refusing to um, renew his contract is a disgrace and also a disservice to higher education as a whole in the sense that he's been a really important force in uh, raising awareness about these issues and two years ago no one was really talking about What UCL. would you say to those who argue academia is a very competitive profession and then he can apply just like anybody? Um, I think I think that's a completely justifiable question and statement to make. But at the same time, I think it, so, so one can't help but ask questions around the uh, circumstances, bearing in mind that this was a man who was tasked with um, creating a a, a, a new master discipline in race, um, but was ineffectively rejected on the basis of, and I quote UCL saying that they it just it was, they weren't too ready for it. Um, so so some, one can't help but think political motivations behind that, more important contributions. I, when people look at the higher education um, sector, people look at UCL as being a beacon in terms of um, being a, a kind of a leading example of taking issues of the fact that there are the lack of black professors in, in the academy, the fact that our curriculums are so white and the need to kind of question the whiteness that's prevalent within it. Um, so there is no denying that there is a political dimension to it and we have to uh, raise, raise questions about that. So leaving aside any specific individuals, 85 out of how many thousand? 18,000. And out of Do you know what percentage that is roughly? Sounds like less than half a percent. Less than half a percent and more importantly out of those 85 black professors there are only 19 who are women. That's uh, pretty extraordinary. Women. So there's a double lack of representation if you're an ethnic minority woman. Yes. In this country. Yeah. Within and, the academy, yeah. And uh, what do you want to do? Have you thought about that as a career? Myself, I want to become a journalist. Okay. That, that, that's what I want to do. Super. Thanks for speaking to us today. Thank you very much.